Hey guys, it's Oz Reptiles here. Now I'm doing uh, a quick video on the tubs that are usually up the top here. I've got them all down, uh, the three tubs that is, and I'm going to show you the inhabitants. They're um, all blue tongues, but uh, yeah, we'll get to showing you them. And I'll talk a bit about keeping blue tongues in tubs and uh, benefits and uh, pros and cons, really. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So... These are obviously the three tanks. Now just ignore all my floor mess. Um, I'm not a clean person when it comes to keeping my actual room clean. Um, we'll start in the middle since this guy's out. It's a little eastern, brown, brown eastern or a reverse pattern. Um, it's from Mark Prince up in Cairns. He's starting to reckon that it's actually a Cairns locale. At least that's what he's calling it. But um, yeah, not too sure on that. But we'll just call it an eastern. It's actually a really beautiful lizard though. Um, so normally on the other ones, like here with Echo, she doesn't bite my fingers off. You can see that the white uh, is very, like it's very half and half uh, with the banding. But this one's predominantly, predominantly the uh, brown instead of the light banding. But yeah, this is him. Not sure on the age, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a male. And uh, pretty simple setup, just a shoebox hide. One of my brother's shoeboxes, that's why it's a small one. Food bowl, water dish, and so on. Uh, this is Echo. She was originally up in here with Rango, but Rango has since replaced his um, in her house partner, roommate, uh, with um, the Alyssa that was in this tub. I ended up swapping them out because she, she's not anymore, but she was getting extremely aggressive. Um, I'm thinking that's because she is possibly gravid. So yeah, she was getting aggressive, and I didn't want any troubles with... Her and Rango having a bit of a fight or whatnot, but she has since calmed down heaps since she's been in here um, by herself and so on. So again, simple setup. This is a water bowl. Her food bowl has been taken out for cleaning. Most of them have. Um, this one I just replaced though. I'm about to put some of the dry cat food in there. But um, they get wet cat food and dry cat food or dog food, depending on what I buy at the time, really. Um, one problem I do have is with their water bowls, uh, as you can see there. Because of this being a loose sugar cane mulch, all I have to do is dig around and their water bowls and food bowls get covered in sugar mulch so often and I have to clean them more than my other tanks um, and replace the water pretty much daily, uh, which I do do pretty much anyway. I do top ups every day, but these guys I pretty much have to do a full takeout and do it. Um, I've just done those and I'm just about to do this one, get all the sugar cane mulch out and do that. Now for her hiding, she's just got some hay. Uh, which keeps her uh, hidden and safe from, just keeps her, uh, makes her feel secure, I suppose. And like I said here, he's got his shoebox and he's got a little tunnel which he barely uses. Um, but that's that. And in here, we have my blotchy, who's a bit skittish, but um, he's a little silver blotchy from Richard Con Connolly. Um, there he goes. I'm going to chuck this lid back on here before this fella tries to make an escape. But, um, yeah. Oh, also, here's a photo of me and Rex, um, Neodoff, Neodoff. Um, he owns Alice Springs Reptile, uh, Park up in Alice Springs, of course. Um, it was just sitting on top of this tub when I pulled it down, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at that. There I am wearing my blue tongue t-shirt from Joe Ball. And he also, like, he... Printed this off and sent it down to me with his signature, uh, signature and stuff, so that was pretty cool. But uh, back onto the topic. So keeping blue tongues in tubs, these are pretty reasonably sized tubs. For this baby, it's plenty big enough. This one's kind of, like it's it's big enough. And this girl here has plenty of space. But um, I wasn't, I'm not planning on keeping too many of these in tubs. Um, I am actually building a rack system for the baby blue tongues that I hope to get this season, plus the ones that I'm buying. And they will be getting housed in tubs that are around this big. Um, I think there is 10.5 litres, and there's also another brand of tub too, which I'll be using. So there, I'll be keeping babies in those tubs, so they're smaller tubs, until they're around 100 grams, and then they'll be going into either bigger tubs, or enclosures. It depends what I have available at the time. Now, with enclosures like this, so a lot of people either say it's great and some people are against it. Um, my reasoning for being a little bit against it would be the fact that they can't get UV light. Now, yes, it is debated whether or not blue tongues actually need UV. Um, 
because some people say you can supplement like the calcium and all the vitamins in their food well yes you can but natural UV and natural sunlight is definitely important in any reptile uh, reptiles health and uh, lifespan so the ones I do keep in tubs I try to get outside um, whenever I can yes I like to get all my animals outside but these fellas are always the ones that I make priority over to get outside and have a bit of natural sunlight now in terms of heating uh, this one here, I actually have a heat mat um, under it, uh, so for for at night time. But the adults, the ones that are bigger, they like these heat lights under here heat up the top on here. They heat it up really well, like that gets nice and warm, which pretty much uh, in return makes a heat mat for these guys. And then it goes off at night time. They cool down. When it comes back on, they get the warmth again. It's it's pretty perfect. It's a great system I have going. Um, it was a bit of a fluke. I didn't I didn't mean it to work like that, but uh, yeah, it does So that's great um, Now a, a, a pro with keeping lizards in tires is the fact that Obviously stacking these up is going to save a lot more space than filling your room with enclosures so space wise it definitely saves space and Like I said, I've I've been keeping blue tongues in both and honestly I, there's no different um, in terms of how my lizards are growing and all that. They are both both specimens in the tanks and in the tubs are both super healthy, both growing rapidly. And yeah, all doing really well and healthy. So if you want to keep blue tongues in tubs, as long as the tubs are reasonable size, go for it. Um, it works well. Now, sorry about if you can hear the bubbling. I do have some new tadpoles back here. I got some green and golden bellfrog tadpoles. So uh yeah that's what the bubbling is just in case you can hear it. I'm not sure if you can, if you can or not but uh yeah so I'll do an update on these guys as they develop more. There's a there's like three of them that have actually got back legs. So that's exciting. Exciting green and golden bellfrogs. I'll put up a photo of what they look like in case you don't know. But yeah back to these guys. I keep getting distracted showing you guys things. So yeah, definitely go ahead. If you want to keep them in tubs, you can. Um, Joe Ball and a lot of other professional breeders keep their animals in tubs. Uh, Cooper Vanderwall, I believe that's, I believe I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm probably not, uh, but Cooper knows who he is. Coop's Reptiles. Um, he, I believe they're the same tubs actually. He's uh, built a, a rack system with these tubs. I think they may be a bit different, but he's got his animals in there and. I mean, ask him, but um, it looks good and hopefully it's working well for him. I'm sure it is. But yeah, let's go into a little bit of detail about each animal. So as I said, this is Echo, my normal Eastern. I bought her at a pet shop about a year ago. And I've had her since she was like this big. She was probably about the same size as her tail. So, yeah. Um, I wasn't planning on breeding her this season. Uh, but Joe said that... Uh, She's pretty much up to size. She's nice and fat and uh, large enough. Oh, bloody. I just did that myself. But yeah, hopefully she's carrying some babies from my yellow male. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on all, on all that. Then this tub again, as I said. Cairns locale, apparently, from um, Mark Prince. Awesome little fella. And my silver blotchy, lowland blotchy. From Richard Connolly. Absolutely love this guy. Growing like a weed and uh, beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful. So, simple setup just hides, food bowl, water bowl, and substrate for burrowing and uh, digging into. But yeah, that's pretty much that, guys. Um, like I said, if you want to keep them in tubs, go for it. Nothing, no one's going to stop you. Um, but if you do have any problems with them not using their limbs properly or they're not growing, I'd suggest getting to them into an enclosure with a UV source. But yeah, keep them in tubs. Try and get them outside in the warm weather whenever you can. And let me know if you guys do keep your animals or oh, blue tongues in tubs or not. Let me, let me know what you guys reckon um, is best for them. I do both. I have no problem with either. Both work well for me. Okay guys, so that was a little bit of a talk on 
tubs with blue tongues. Um, that wasn't a too in-depth video on like whether they are good or not, um, but I really have nothing against them. A lot of people use them, and then a lot of people prefer to house them in these, like this little lizard here I almost fell over. But if you want to keep them in tubs, once again, for like the fifth time, go for it. If you want to keep them in cages like this, like this fella here, go for it. No one's going to stop you. You keep them how you want to keep them, as long as the animals are healthy and um, get the security and all that they need. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next. If you want to see more on the new green and golden bell frog tadpoles, let me know. Leave a comment down below on anything you want to watch. Um, I'll, or see and I'll catch you guys in the next video make sure you like subscribe and hit the bell notification too okay guys see you in the next one